Today we're going to show you how to install Formica Group's Ideal Edge. We're using 180FX by Formica Group in Calicutta marble with the satin touch finish. The edge we're using for this project is double radius, but Ideal Edge comes in a variety of profiles and hundreds of colors. You can visit Formica.com to see all the available options. To complete this project, you'll need a flat, sturdy surface to work on, a drop cloth, safety glasses, dust mask, and gloves, router with straight cut bit, spacers and straight edge, three inch spring clamps, bar clamps, a cleaning cloth and 100% acetone, measuring tape, marker, and pencil, PVA adhesive and paintbrush, polymer packing tape, digital angle finder, and a miter saw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can use a handheld saw and a miter box. You also need a disc sander and, of course, sticks of Ideal Edge. Now, Ideal Edge has an inch and a half drop down, so your Formica laminate countertop should consist of a three quarter inch substrate and a three quarter inch support build down. Like any home project, good prep is important. So we'll start by truing up the edges, and that means we'll cut them so they're straight. To do that, put the straight edge on the countertop then put a spacer next to the straight edge. Align the router with the straight edge until the bit contacts the edge. Then clamp the straight edge down, remove the spacer, and use the router to take 1 8 of an inch off all around. The surface needs to be smooth and straight for Ideal Edge to adhere properly, and it also needs to be clean. Take a piece of Ideal Edge and test it against the prepped surface. If prepped properly, you'll have no gaps and no need for filler. Make sure you have the edge in the correct orientation. The bottom has a small lip on it. Next, measure the angle at each corner of the countertop so you can cut the Ideal Edge to fit. We'll mark these measurements right on the countertop with a marker. Divide each angle by two to get the cut for each piece of Ideal Edge. It's a good idea to start with one of the short sides because the length is more manageable. Measure the length of Ideal Edge you're going to cut, and cut the Ideal Edge slightly longer than necessary. You'll trim it to its final dimension after fitting one end. Now, cut the Ideal Edge to the measured angle using the miter saw. Smooth it out with a disc sander, and check the fit against the scrap piece of Ideal Edge that's cut to the correct angle. Fine tune the corner with the disc sander until you get the right fit. Then, cut the next edge to its measured angle, smooth it out with the disc sander to fit, and check the fit again. So how do you know if your fit is okay? When properly cut, the edges should fit together smoothly. Right, so when you run your finger over it, it feels smooth. When you're sure you have a good fit, you're ready to glue. Fully coat the back of the Ideal Edge with plenty of PVA adhesive and use a paintbrush to make sure it's spread evenly. Then, press it onto the countertop substrate. Use the adjoining scrap pieces of Ideal Edge to make sure it's lined up correctly. Then, use polymer packing tape to tape it in place to set. Make sure you tape from the bottom up. If the tape is tight enough and you've used enough adhesive, it should seep out. Wipe off the adhesive with a damp cloth or a paper towel as you go. It's water-based, so it cleans up easily. When you rub your finger across the top, you should not feel a lip. The edge should look seamless, and you should not see any brown line. To cut the long edge, measure and make sure it extends about two inches beyond the end of the counter, so it's easier to work with. Then, use the angle measurement for the adjoining piece. For longer pieces, use a clamp to feed one end through and hold it in place while you're working with the other end. Then, mark the angle on the other end to the width of a scrap piece of Ideal Edge. Using the angle measurements, cut and sand both edges to fit flush with the Ideal Edge on the short sides of the countertop. If everything lines up, fully coat the back of the edge with adhesive, like you did for the short side. Then, tape tightly in place. You'll have about three to five minutes to get it right before it starts drying. Repeat these steps for the other sides. Then, use the acetone to remove the marker from the countertop. Now it's time to let it dry. Depending upon humidity, your ideal edge should be completely dry in about six hours. For Micro Group recommends leaving the tape in place for about 12 hours to ensure the adhesive is completely dry. 
If your countertop is installed above a dishwasher, seal the edge with a waterproof sealant to protect against steam or moisture damage. Wow. Ideal Edge gives this countertop the beautiful contemporary look of a sophisticated seamless edge. I love it. Find out more at Formica.com.